Hi, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be sorting out my skylight. I'll show you how I painted it grey. So I'm going to be showing you how I took it from a nasty white plastic colour to a nice grey colour. I'm basically going to be using spray paint out of a can that's specifically designed for spraying onto PVC plastic. What I've done is I've matched up the RAL colour with my Velox windows. And also, so it's not going to be such a plastic white 80s nightmare, I'm going to be filling the holes in the top and they're going to be taking off the white ridge across the top as well, making it nice and flat. I'll take off the bits of trim that attach to it and I'll be masking it up and spray painting it with the cans that I've bought. So let's see how it goes. Now it's time to sort out this white plastic skylight. The guttering gets really clogged up as you can see. I'm not really sure why it's even there in the first place. There's been quite a lot of rain recently and the guttering does not seem to be doing a lot of good. The rain just washes straight off the edging underneath anyway and there's no need for the guttering. And I've always hated it so it's coming off. I'm going to take some of the bits of trim off, clean them up and prepare them for spray painting. Now I'm going to make sure it's all thoroughly cleaned and all the dirt and grime is taken off. Great, that looks all clean. I've taken the plastic guttering off and taken off the plastic clips that were holding it in place. It actually looks much better already, but I'm still going to spray paint it. I've taken the bit of trim off the edge of the glass and I've taken the end caps off. And now I'm going to sand down this plastic ridge and take it off and make it nice and smooth. And I'm going to fill the holes that are just here. I'm going to be using my belt sander and I'm using it with a really rough grade sandpaper just to take the ridges off. It's making a bit of a mess and it's also quite smelly and toxic so I'm making sure I'm wearing my filtered face mask. These are the big bits of plastic that are coming off. Now I'm sanding this down with a less coarse sandpaper just to get it nice and smooth and flat. Great, that's all smooth and flat. Now I'm going to use my disc sander just to get it even smoother. I'm getting all these bits of plastic out of the holes and making sure it's all nice and clean and smooth. I'm sanding the top of the holes just to create a key for the filler. I'm going to use car body filler just because it's much stronger and it's flexible. I'm using a golf ball size filler and then I'm going to use a pea size as a hardener and I'm just going to mix this all together. And now I'm just smoothing this into the hole. It sets off really quickly and I'll be able to sand it down after about five minutes. surgical spirit as a degreaser just to get off any grease or oil that there may be left on the surface. I'm going to mask up this area so I don't get any paint on the glass. the edges up now. Now I'm just going to put some newspaper on the glass. I've put the painter's tape on first and then I've put the masking tape over the edges of the newspaper and then just putting this on just to get nice clean smooth lines. That's all done now. Now for the other side. Now I'm going to start spraying. This is the spray that I'm going to be using. 
It says it's for use on PVC, but I think actually any spray paint will work. Now I'm holding the can about 20 centimeters from the surface and I'm using even strokes from right to left and left to right and then releasing the spray at the end of each stroke. This is one coat done. And now I'm going to spray the end caps and these bits of trim that go on the edge of the glass. I'm going to use the same technique, just spraying this on and releasing at the end of each run. turning the end caps around so I get spray paint onto every part. Great, that's all done now. Now I'm going to give the skylight a second coat. I've rubbed down the area with a really fine wet and dry sandpaper. I've found that you can build up the layers really quickly to cover up any white that is showing through. It dries really quickly as well, but it will take about 24 to 48 hours to dry properly and fully harden. Great, that's all done. And it doesn't look too bad. This is what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. It matches in with the Velox windows nicely. It's now dried, and it looks quite evenly painted, which is good. It looks so much better than it did before. You can just see a few little scratches on top, where I'd sanded it down with the coarse sandpaper. But you can't really notice these. I've put the bits of trim and the end caps back on and it's finished it off nicely. And it doesn't look so much of an eyesore anymore. I've also sorted out the brickwork on the left and repointed the gaps in the bricks and painted this too. Well, that's another job done. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for some more videos.